Hello, so today I wanted to talk about, again, the probate process, and I previously discussed what's a probatable asset. Probate, again, is all about accessing assets to organize them for distribution. So today, what I wanted to talk about in specific is the probate process. This first starts with a petition to appoint somebody, whether they're an administrator, i.e. not going with a will, um, administrator with a will annexed, that means that there is a will, but someone who's not a named executor is seeking appointment. Or lastly, an executor, that's when they're named in the will to act on behalf of the decedent and their estate. One of those people seeking appointment at this first hearing, and the hearing will often be about four to eight weeks out from filing. Once someone is appointed, and that process can be quite complicated, but once someone is appointed, then there's a statutory four-month time period that people have to wait. This is the creditor claim period, and during this time period, all known creditors have to be noticed and claims received and dealt with, whether they're paid or denied and potentially lawsuits over the claims erupt. In most instances, the claims are basic health care claims or something along those lines and they're just paid without a concern. Every now and then you get a, a larger issue. During this four month time period, other issues can be resolved. For example, if there's a piece of our property or multiple pieces, uh, then, these, then these real properties or the house can be sold. This can be done during that time period um, and any other issues that might arise. Uh, and there certainly could be a rainbow of them, can be resolved during that time period. After the four months are up, then a petition to close the estate can come. Oftentimes, the petition is not uh, ready at the end of the four months because issues have to be resolved. Maybe a house has to be sold, maybe a state claim has to be resolved, a lawsuit has to be dealt with. In certain instances, though, Everything is taken care of in those four months, and then it's time to close the estate. A petition is brought by the administrator or the executor to close the estate, and in this petition, uh, an accounting is generally required of all the actions uh, taken by the person in charge and all the assets and how they were managed during that time period, if a house was sold, for example, or stocks liquidated. Then, um, a proposal for distribution is put forth to the court. This proposal will either follow what the will says, what the state law says, if there is no will, that's called intestate secession, or sometimes what a settlement agreement would say if there were issues relating to distribution that had to be resolved. Then, at the hearing, the court can sign off on this petition by issuing an order confirming the accounting and authorizing the distribution plan as proposed to the court. After this time, distribution can occur. So what this means is that the probate process can take many months. It'll usually take at least six to eight months at a minimum, and I've seen cases that have gone 10 to 12 years, although those are usually rare. Most probates last about eight to 12 months. Thank you very much.